Hi, I am Dr. Anant Raman, uh, Consultant Endocrinologist at Magna Clinic for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at BTM Layout, Bangalore. For many parents, uh, the stature of their children is a matter of uh, anxiety. Except for uh, very tall parents, many uh, parents who are uh, uh, of medium height and short height tend to have children who are uh, short. So that is because 50% uh, of uh, the height potential uh, is actually explained by uh, genetics itself or maybe even more than 50%. Some people say even up to 75% of the height potential is explained by the uh, parental height. So the remaining 25% is because of uh, uh, you know the environment, uh, whether the child is uh, brought up with uh, you know nutritious food whether uh, the child is free of uh, any chronic illness or uh, repeated acute illness. So these are important aspects uh, when we are looking at the child's height. So typically uh, you need to be alarmed uh, if the child's height is below the third centile or a fifth centile on a height chart. So typically there are uh, height charts, length charts available for infants and also height charts available for children over two years of age. Uh, which are uh, available online. You could download them, measure the child's height, note it down and then see where your child's height lies actually. It's a very simple uh, task to do. You can accomplish this within 15-20 minutes uh, at home. A uh, height standard that we use in India is called the IAP growth chart. This is also available uh, uh, free of cost on the internet. You could also use the NCHS uh, height standard uh, which is for both boys and girls uh, from uh, 2 years of age to 18 years of age. So these are very informative as far as your uh, child's height is concerned. So it's important to measure your uh, child's height and then see how it compares to the population average. And also you need to compare it with your own height, the mother and father's height. And uh, if you find that uh, the height of the child is very less or less than 3rd centile or less than 5th centile, uh, you need to take the child to a pediatrician or a pediatric endocrinologist. The next uh, aspect is uh, one of growth. So if you once you have measured the child's height, it's better to preserve the growth chart with you and then plot the child's height uh, uh, on a 6 monthly or a yearly basis and look at uh, the gain in height. Usually the child's height uh, grows parallel to the growth lines. There are several growth lines that are provided in the growth chart. So uh, when you trace the child's growth along the growth chart, you will find that, you know, the uh, if the child is not growing parallel to that and then, you know, falling, cutting across the lines, you know, for example, the child is in the 25th centile and then now going to the 5th centile, that is a cause for concern. So these are two, one or two instances where you can yourself diagnose that there is a growth problem. But if you have a lot of anxiety despite doing this, I think it's better to meet a pediatric endocrinologist.